Meet the pin and loop knot. I'm going to show you how to tie it, then we're going to test it. <laughs> to begin with, make a simple loop in the end of one of the wires. A pair of pliers is going to make this super easy. Make the loop a reasonable size and then just twist it off. Now that we've got our loop tied in the red wire, we want to make a hairpin turn in the yellow wire that pokes straight through the red loop. Now feed your hairpin turn through the red loop. Next we feed an offcut of wire through the yellow loop. That's going to act as our pin. Now with the pin in place, we finish off our yellow wire by bringing it up ready to be twitched off around the red and we bring our pin around to be twitched off around the yellow wire. Now I can undo the strainers and finish off the twists. Now to test the knot, but of course to test it we've got to tie one without all the fancy colours. Okay, so it's time to find out how our knot performs under tension. And for that, we've got the fence stay test bench. If you don't know how that works, roll the tape. The wire with the knot in it is attached at each end with a spiral fast because they're just as strong as the wire. Up at this end, I've got a lever that I jack out using a bottle jack with a set of crane scales attached that I'm recording with this camera here. Okay, so we've got our plain wire set up on the test bench. We'll get our baseline of unbroken wire to begin with, then we'll put the knot on and we'll see how the two compare. We've got our both cameras rolling. I'm gonna change the position of this one. Let's get started. Rightio, plain wire baseline. We do this every time because wire acts differently at different temperatures and different rolls can have slightly different results. As we're winding it up, what are we up to now? 280 odd kilos. We'll find out what the breaking strain of unbroken wire is. What are we up to now? 460 odd, won't be too far away. This is mild tensile. Won't be too far away. Oh, there we go. Okay, now it's the pin and loops turn to be uncomfortable. Let's stretch it on the rack and see what happens. It's taking up some slack to begin with. And we've hit 30 kilos. So now it's starting to be under strain and I'm already seeing movement in the knot. Particularly in the pin part of the pin and loop. So we're up to 205 kilos. Well that, ladies and gentlemen, is the weakest knot I have ever tried on this bench. I think it's even weaker than the double loop. And as usual with these sorts of knots, it's broken exactly where the first bit of pressure is placed on a bend in high tensile wire. Knots with high tensile wire need to move the pressure along themselves rather than concentrate it on a bend. Avoid the pin and loop if you're using medium or high tensile wire. I'd just like to shout out today to the sponsors who made this all possible. Fence Stay for their test bench and great end assemblies. And of course, Murray, a genuine Australian owned company that manufactures on the Murray River. 
Guys, if you like this kind of content, don't forget, hit the subscribe button, give it a thumbs up. There's plenty more on timthompson.ag, and I'll see you next week.